Hi, I'm the Fat Conductor. I'm an audio video artist from Toronto, Canada, and I also teach music and design templates for Ableton Live, which are available through my website, thefatconductor.com. I'm here today to demonstrate a, a mouseless DJ and beat juggling template that I've created for the trigger finger, but it is able to be used from any MIDI controller provided that you have knobs, faders, and buttons at your disposal. Um, I'd like to thank everybody on the Ableton board as well as Charlie Roberts for designing the applications which make this template possible. Now the basic idea of this template is to completely get rid of the mouse and keyboard so that you're not you know in laptop land when you're trying to play uh, as well as to provide maximum potential for beat juggling, sample manipulation, sound effects and other hands-on techniques that enable you to use the laptop more as a musical instrument and you know let people know that you're not just playing iTunes up there so uh, yeah without further ado I'm gonna take you through it alright so one of the features of this template that people are most excited about is the mouseless control over the navigation of Ableton and the browser you can navigate around using these keys up down right left you got enter over here which is useful for triggering clips and a bunch of other things and then these two take you from session to the browser and back again. So once you have your channel picked, you just pop over to the browser, pick a track. I'm going to use uh, Ice Nine, which is included in the template. It's a track I wrote for a label Two Wars and a Revolution Records a while ago. Did pretty well. It's a lot of fun. And then this button here maps the track over. Boom. There it is. You'll notice that a chunk of clips was copied. Uh, that's because I saved them as an ELS by dragging all of the clips at once into the browser and naming it. It's really easy, it'll save you a lot of time, and then you only have to map once per track. Uh, I've also mapped a bunch of juggle slots for this track uh, with a juggle pack that I made. Those are all different cue points set in the track for mashing up on the keys, and I'll show you how that's done later. Now, the DJ Mixer has pretty standard controls. You've got volume for the left channel, volume for the right channel, EQs, one you know, low, mid, high, and then for the right channel, low, mid, and high. And then you've got a filter, which is either a low pass or a high pass, depending on which preset you've set it on. I'm going to show you something really cool about these filters and EQs. I've macro mapped these using Control Aid to replace the less than optimal sounding EQ3 DJ EQ in Ableton with two EQ4s with custom curves and custom frequency points. So check it out. Low, boom, knocks out the whole low end. Boom. High end. Does two at once. Sounds really, really crisp, really nice. Over here, the filter of macro maps, so it does resonance and frequency at the same time. You can see that going. Gives you a real meaty filter sweep when you, uh, when you do it. Okay, so these bottom keys here, um, this is for the left channel, these four, and then these four are for the right channel. Uh, they control different clip slots in Ableton. So this one is typically for the, is for the second clip, typically like the breakdown or the part where the track introduces itself. Here is the bridge or a spot where you want to do hooks, and then here is the outro. So you can make arrangement changes on the fly by pressing those pads. These two control beat repeats for the left and right channel. Those are used to do hip hop style double ups, like type thing. Uh, this is a super trigger crossfade, which is used to reverse the audio on both channels. And this changes the grid on the beat repeat, which you can use to make glitches and stuff. So to give you kind of an idea of how that all sounds, I'm just gonna play here. So here's the beat repeat, and with the grid. And then here's the reverse. There's also this cool record stop effect on preset four. So you can use that to, it's kind of like hitting stop on a record player uh, with filter. And the EQs. You can probably even hear on the camera how much better it sounds than the EQ3. Doesn't really sound the best. So here, now I'm going to show you a juggle. 
Okay, so there's two types of juggling uh, in this template. There's the custom juggles where you map a pack full of clips that are for each track. So, you know, you have your track playing here and then you have a bunch of different spots in the track that you want to cut up. And then there's another type of juggling that I'm going to show you later. But this is the, the custom juggling. So, uh, these top eight control, uh, it's, it's kind of like when you cut in a record with a crossfader, it mutes the channel that is playing and then chops in the clip that you want to play. These ones are for doing vocals and stuff on top and then these ones are for navigating around, uh, around the track. So you've got you know, intro, breakdown, etc. So here I'll just show you what, uh, what juggling sounds like. So you can see you can really you can really take a track apart. Now these ones for the vocals are really special too. So you can not only trigger the sample straight up, but if you use this key to turn clip fill mode on, clip fill mode on, you can cycle through eight different clips using a single key like this. It's a pretty handy feature. Um, now I'll show you the custom, or sorry, the hardwired juggle slots. So there's two banks of hardwired juggle slots. Again, one for the left channel, one for the right channel. First bank's all scratches, and there's different cue points set up in the scratches for making routines. So here, check this out. And then there's uh, more solo style scratches. <laughs> And then there's also one shots, which you can use to do sound effects or whatever. Each juggle channel has a delay, which you turn off and on here. And then here's the feedback and here's the filter. So using the filters and delay, uh, you can take a sample like a laser zap and then make like a real sweepy kind of effect out of it. Check it out. So you can do that with vocals or whatever too. It's sounds pretty nice. Uh, another important feature of this template is being able to control tempo uh, with, with the, the pads. Now you can control tempo with a fader but I'm going to show you something special here. Up here in this scene that's, uh, that's the tempo mapping scene. Now if you want to if you want to enter uh, like you can enter data values followed by BPM and then when you trigger that scene, Ableton jumps to that BPM. So if you've got a fast record and you want to suddenly slow down into a slow record, maybe you don't want to do like a gradual tempo change. You want to just trigger it at the breakdown and be like, bam, into that slower record. So if you go to preset 9 and you have that scene selected, when you click on it, it enters like 085 BPM or 130 BPM. And then when you go back to your navigation scene, as soon as you trigger that, you know, Ableton's going at whatever BPM value you set it at. So that's really handy. Uh, another thing that's really, really handy is uh, a lot of time when you're, you're DJing, you'll find that a track might not quite sit in the mix right. It might need a little bit of gains or a little bit of mid-range or a little bit of bass to make it flow in with the, the track that is playing before. So if you go to preset 3, then... Here, I'll just get in here so you can see what see what's going on. Uh, if you go to preset 3, there's an EQ4 here which is set up for tweaking. This turns it off and on. This one gives it a bit of gain in the EQ. This selects where the gain is, so high frequencies, mid, low frequencies, and then this is overall gain, and that's mirrored for the right channel over here. So using that you can really get a track to, to sit perfectly in the mix while you're playing. It's, it's a really handy thing. A lot of the time uh, when your EQ is max at zero, you know, there's no there's no headroom to give it that little extra boost, and, and this allows you to do that. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up at thefatconductor.com. If you want to buy one, send me an email. Uh, they're available through PayPal. And there's a few other features which I haven't covered here, but this video is already way too long, and I feel like I'm giving some cheesy infomercial. So uh, I'm going to let you go now. I uh, hope you have a lot of fun with Ableton Live. 
and uh, hope you enjoy my template. Peace.